Hi everyone, um, tonight I'm going to demo the Mint Aero Rocky Road. I'm actually going to half the recipe for tonight and do the other half when I do the class on Friday. And I'm not doing mint today, I've got the chocolate caramel Aero because I'm doing it for a friend who's not very well and she doesn't like the mint one. So I'm going to do it for her. What I've done so far is I have lined my tin, put up my tin, just with a, uh, a square piece of grease proof baking parchment that's just in there. That's all I need to do for that. And I've got the pan on that's gonna come slowly to a simmer, just with a little bit of water. So the bowl that I put the ingredients on um, can sit on it without touching the water because we're gonna melt them um, like we've done before. So I'm gonna melt the milk chocolate 200 grams of this, but in it's 400 grams. I'm not going to talk about measurements in this because you've got them in the ingredients and it's up to you if you want to halve them. So I'm going to put the milk chocolate, the unsalted butter and the golden syrup into my bowl here, onto the hob and melt it slowly and I'll come back to you when I'm doing that. Okie doke. Hi, I've got my saucepan on a low simmer. So you can just see it under there. It's just on a low simmer with the water in that's not touching the bottom of the bowl. In the bowl, I have the milk chocolate, um, the butter and the golden syrup, and that's just gonna melt slowly in there. If you want to do it in the microwave, you can. You do it in short bursts and stir in it. Um, so probably 30 seconds at a time burst, and then give it a stir. You can also do this directly in a saucepan with no water in, but you just put the butter and the syrup in there and melt that and then take it off the heat, add the chocolate, and um, stir that until it's all melted. The heat of the syrup and the butter should melt it. But there is a couple of alternatives that you can do. I'm just gonna patiently wait for this to melt, and then I'll come back to you. Right, the chocolate's um, all melted with the syrup and the butter, so I'm now gonna prepare the others. You need to let that cool down for about five minutes. I've put the timer on. I've got my digestive biscuits in a bag and you just need to chop them. So I've just put them in a bag so that I can break them up. So they're, you don't want them crumb, too crumbly, because you wouldn't be able to get a bite, but you want them to be small enough. So that probably do. And then I've got my bowl here, so I'm gonna add them to that. All the bits, and then you don't get bits everywhere. So I don't know if you can see, they're sort of, all broken up nicely there. And then I'm going to add my mar mini marshmallows. Put that on zero. I want measure these out. Loads of these. There we go, that's them, done, and I'm going to add the chocolate, and so when that's all added, I'll come back to you. So it's two, I'm going to add the two bars, or 150 grams of this, because I'm halving it. Right, I'm just adding the um, Aero bars, and I'm keeping some as whole lumps, and some that I'm just crumbling between my fingers. And that's how you've got a bit of texture and a bit of... So in here I've got the digestive biscuits mashed up, the mini marshmallows and with chocolate. In my pan that I melted, I've got the chocolate. And then just add that in there and mix it in. My chocolate's split a bit, which means it looks like it's got a little bit grainy and lumpy. So all I've done was I added some cold milk, just a little tiny bit, just to bring it back to unsplit. And then you mix this up, and then I'm, all I'm gonna do is put it in the tin, and I'll show you when it's in the tin. Right, all the mixture that was in my pot is now in the tin, all squashed down. So you just level it out, what you want to do. That's all we need to do. Then I'm gonna put that in the fridge for it to set, and then I'll come back to you. So I've got the pan on a low simmer 
and in the bowl, not touching the water, I've got the white chocolate. Just gonna melt that slowly, and we don't wanna do it too quick. Alternatively, you can do it in the microwave. You can put the white chocolate in a microwavable bowl and do it for 20 or 30 seconds at a go, and then give it a mix, and then just keep going till it's all melted. And I'll come back to you when it's done. Right, so the white chocolate has all melted in the pan here. I've only got a little bit, obviously, because I'm halving the recipe. And what I've got, if you've got a little tiny piping bag, then go for it with a little nozzle, oops, this one, is I've just got a freezer bag, little freezer bag, that I'm just gonna put the white chocolate into, and then I'll show you what I do. Just gonna snip the end off and use it just to, because you're only doing a drizzle on the top. Alternatively, oh, this is where you can mix the green colouring in if you want to. I'm just putting this in here carefully. Um, to make it green, if you're doing the mint one, I'm just gonna keep this white for this one, because obviously I'm just doing the milk chocolate one. So I'm gonna put it in there, get it all in. Make sure I clean the bowl out so I don't waste any. Don't like waste. There we go. That'll do, just clean it in. So in here, I've got, take all the air out, I've got the white chocolate, put it all down into the corner. And what I'm going to do is fold it all down, let the air out, squeeze it to as far as you can. I'm going to get the rocky road out of the fridge. That's all set up nicely. It's probably been in there 15 minutes. I could leave it in there a little bit longer if I wanted to. Now all I'm going to do, hopefully this will work, is, obviously this is still a bit warm, but all I'm going to do is snip the corner of that off and then just drizzle it over. It's the simplest thing to do, do it in whatever pattern you want. So I'm just doing that. So it looks pretty, pretty messy. Until I feel I've got the pattern that I want all over the chocolate. Spread it all out. There we go. It just comes out in a nice thin drizzle. There you go. That's enough for me. And that is my finished product. And when that's set, I'll get it all out the tin. I'll probably leave it overnight, get it out the tin, and I'll show you what it's like tomorrow.